Hey guys, more bad news, but uh, the Lord did some stuff this morning. Me and Brett are out here at the park, and um, we just put these signs up. Lunch with the Bible and friends. Due to the park being closed, we had to move the services online temporarily. So we've been praying about it, and uh, they closed up the park that we normally uh, do it at. <clears throat> And unfortunately, we're going to have to postpone the, the services here. We'll be going online. So still at 2.30 p.m., we'll go live from uh, the Trotsky house in the backyard. Uh, pray for my voice. It's uh, not doing so well today. Um, but yeah, due to the park being closed, we had to move the services online temporarily. So for info or prayer, call or for prayer or info, call one eight five five seventy jesus our website. Yeah. Thank you for understanding, Pastor Scott and the team. So we're out here at La Palma Park. Uh, there's one brother here <coughs> that that came, dug himself out of a trench underneath the freeway overpass to eat. Uh, so we're going to go grab him some grub right now. And then our brothers, our Spanish brothers are still here. But this is where we would normally have service, but we're not going to. And uh, yeah, so... Keep us in prayer. Just wanted to give you guys an update. We are not having service at the park. We're going to have it from the backyard. So if anyone uh, that it normally comes to the Lunch with the Bible and Friends, uh, I guess just get the word out. The park is closed. The parking lot is closed. And it says no gatherings. If it didn't say that, we would probably still be here because it's just closed for the... Uh, the park uh, parking here, but since it says no gatherings, we're going to adhere to the rules. Romans 13, 1 says so, but we're still going to have service from the backyard uh, by the pool. So it's going to be really cool. And yeah, it's uh, not cool. That brother just showed up, said he dug himself out from underneath the freeway overpass to come here to get food because he's hungry and um, we're not having service. So anyway, kind of bums me out, but we had a great morning this morning. You guys can check out on my timeline. Uh, we got out at 10 o'clock from the cul-de-sac at the house, and we read some scripture shortly about the from uh, Luke chapter 24, verse 1 through 8, and uh, the, the Easter story, and then my brother sang Amazing Grace a cappella, and I joined him to the best of my ability, even with my scratchy voice. Uh, was doing some yelling yesterday and praising God and such. And uh, even uh, so my voice got a little messed up. And then this morning was so awesome. It got trashed. But go on my timeline. Timeline. It says Amazing Grace, Block Sing. And uh, people from the neighborhood from our block came out uh, and sang with us. And we played the song. And then even when we got back, uh, from videotaping our next door neighbor direct next to us had brought out her violin and her and her daughter and a friend that stays there sang a couple of songs and then our neighbors from down the street that uh said to do this uh she rode around on her bike the past couple of weeks and said come out at 10 a.m on easter and we're going to sing amazing grace and we did you'll see it on our timeline it's just about a 17 minute video you guys will be blessed really cool so anyway that's encourage each other to do that next year 10 o'clock on easter every easter get out in your communities and sing amazing grace just give god glory and then go off to your services or whatnot we love you keep us in prayer we'll be live at 2 30 just like usual but from a different location 1-855-70 jesus and i'm wearing the mask and i got the gloves because that's what they told us to do and we're trying to keep everybody safe so we can squash this curve uh and jesus is going to take care of it god bless you guys we love you and uh take care service moved to a different location until further notice